Okay, now that Seattle has garnered an NHL team, a new campaign is looking to bring a women's pro hockey team to the Emerald City. The National Women's Hockey League, or NWHL, currently has five teams, including four on the East Coast and one in Minnesota. Here with more on Seattle's push for pro women's hockey are Kelly Stevens Tisland, an Olympic medalist and National Collegiate Champion hockey player from Shoreline, and Paige Nottingham, an 11-year-old elite player from Everett. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Yeah. Um, it does kind of seem, Kelly, like this is the next natural thing to happen. But first, can you just share with people your background, if they're not familiar with you? Right. I am a local hockey player. I grew up here um, as a kiddo and played boys hockey. And then I went on to play college at the University of Minnesota and had an amazing opportunity there. Won back-to-back -back national championships in my last two years. And uh, then had the opportunity to represent our country at the world stage in the Olympics at Torino, Italy in 2006 six and we won a bronze medal there so it was a pretty awesome ride. Just kind of a small resume that you have in the world of hockey. It's incredible. I had a passion. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> and you still do and now that passion is, is extending to getting a women's team here. So talk a little bit about that. Like to me it seems like yeah the obvious next move but there's a whole process to getting a franchise here. Right. What needs to happen? Right. So we right now are kind of in the grassroots phase of um, garnering awareness and uniting our community for, hey, let's get this conversation started. Let's rally the troops and we have an NHL team coming. And so now's a great time to have a pro women's team here. And so we're, we're looking to, yeah, get that started. And obviously there is interest. I mean, let's, yeah. let's talk about you. Tell me a little bit about where you play, what you do as a player and the success that you've had. So my team, we play in a rink in Bellingham, and well, this season has been amazing. Like, we won our championship game in a Canadian league, and it was just, this whole team has just been so nice, and everyone's getting along, and it's just probably been the best season of hockey I've ever had. And you're traveling a lot, it sounds like, if you're yeah. playing in Canadian leagues. Yeah, yeah, every weekend, Bellingham. Incredible. Yeah. So what would it mean to you to have a women's professional hockey team here in your home? I think it'd just be amazing because I think it'd encourage so many girls to start like just striving for that goal to be on that team and I think it just incur like it just be so like inspiring. Yeah, totally. And I mean, we see the um, sort of impact that the NHL coming here has had on people, tickets selling out and people right. already going bananas for it. Do you feel like that exists for a women's team as well? And how, how can we know and make that, uh, you know, well known? Right. Part of that is women's hockey is at its highest peak right now. Having the U.S. women's team win the gold medal at the past Olympics brought a huge frenzy. Um, the NHL team coming in, hockey's hot on conversation right now. And so right for us, what we need to do is create the community awareness, have media support, and um, look for a strong ownership and, and partnerships. And so that's kind of what needs to happen. Yeah. Um, it's a process, like you said, it's not gonna happen overnight. And we're here because like she said, I mean, it's, there's kids that have the interest, it is there. And Seattle's, how cool to have it, you know, possibly be in Seattle as the first West Coast location. So. Right, and this is hardly a hobby. I mean, we talk to kids who play, you know, yeah. baseball and soccer and things, but like, what is your day as a hockey player? How much time do you spend practicing and traveling for tournaments and playing in these games? Um, it's definitely a commitment. Like, you, you can't just be like, oh yeah, it's hockey, but you know, you have to, you, you have to drive it first of all. Like, it's, it's an hour and back every Bellingham game. But it's, I think it's definitely worth all the commitment yeah. and hard work. Yeah, and having that professional team is what shows kids, oh, that's something that I can do too. Like, there's probably plenty of girls that never even thought about playing hockey, right? You were playing on boys' teams, you said, right. when you were growing up. And, and, and that's kind of what gets me excited about this, and like you spoke to the passion, is there's so much opportunity, there's so much potential, and you have players like Paige who are passionate, committed into it, and to have a pro women's team would give them mentorship, only raise the bar for the community, and it's a great game, it's fun, and it would just inspire so many from beginners all the way all the way up. Yes. It'd be cool to keep them local. Yeah, well best of luck with this campaign. I think it's gonna happen, and then we'll be rooting for you someday when you're playing on that professional team. You gotta stay here though. Mm -hmm. Don't go to Minnesota, you stay right. here and play for our team. Keep it local, yeah. yeah. All right, thank you so much for Thank joining you. us, we appreciate it. And we are back with more New Day right after this.